pack it up, get on the road. Time to wrap up this RV trip. Are you ready to do this with me? I hope so. Let's do this. Woo! Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi and since my refrigerator was not working uh, it was time for me to pack up uh, just one night in the park but that was okay you know I'll get a chance to shake everything out again another time uh, but it was time to tear up tear down and uh, get ready to hit the road It's always a little bittersweet when the jacks come up and the slides come in uh, because that means it's the end of a road trip. Uh, but, you know, the nice part for me moving forward is that I have my RV with me. I can fix the things that need fixing uh, and I can get back out and really start to explore Northeast Wisconsin. It was so interesting driving back straight through the heart of the state and seeing all of these small family owned farms that just make up Wisconsin. Uh, it was eye opening and something pretty special. The drive back also gave me a chance to think back to some of the fun things that happened uh, on the way getting my RV from Tallahassee back to Green Bay. So I'm at the airport now, gonna mask up, check in, and start the flight to uh, Florida. Hopefully, this won't be an all day affair. Waiting for the night agent to come in and check me in. I've been on the phone for about a half hour. I am exhausted. I just wanna get in my room. Ah, uh, buddy, there she is. <laughs> still wrapped and covered just the way I left her. Uh, let's take a quick walk around. I, I, I'm happy. So outside just one hiccup right now that I can see and that is of course the uh, mirror on the side. Well, I have to be honest, for the most part, everything looks uh, pretty good, other than the smell, because I put a lot of mothballs and other things in here. Another big moment, we are going to try and hook up the batteries, start up the engine, run it for a while, uh, and see how it sounds. It's uh, been almost over six months. So let's keep our fingers crossed that things continue to go fairly well. and it turned over and when I dropped it off at 9 a.m. today um, I had been assured that by noon uh, it would be done they didn't even move it out of the lot from where I parked it uh, until after 12 12 30 and after I complained to the manager so taking another look at the gas gauge, and it looks pretty full, so I think all I'm gonna do is grab some groceries, hit the road, um, and then when I get ready to have my first major stop, that's when I'll fill up.
here about to surprise my mom. She's not returning my call, so I just showed up at the house. <laughs> and that's where you parked it. That's where I parked it. <laughs> So as the sun gets ready to set, just a reminder, if you like the content you're seeing here on the channel, please click and subscribe. Hit that bell for an easy notification. That way, whenever a new video comes your way, you'll be notified. staying at a Cracker Barrel and ideally in the morning you want to stop in and pick something up and uh, say kind of thanks for letting me park overnight and um, with everything going on right now they are not allowing folks in the store which is probably a good idea uh, I did have a mask when I went in to order um, but I'm having breakfast uh, they delivered it here uh, to my RV and uh, I'm gonna eat something good is not getting cold and um, it is uh, smelling pretty bad so um, this first state park um, in Wisconsin was a little bit of an adventure but uh, I'm shutting her down and bringing her back home Off the road, time to load the RV back into the storage unit. And this, well, this is going to be an adventure. This is the first time I've actually had to try to do it. And uh, as you will see, it was a little difficult. Okay, so first I tried to back it in. And the way I needed to do it was back the RV as close to the door as possible because uh, there was no chain pull there. So I had to climb up the back uh, on the ladder and actually push the door up until I had access uh, high enough to get the RV in. Now I did tie a rope uh, to the overall uh, door pull to try and get that down later. You'll see there. But uh, I tried first to back in and um, I got close but it just didn't really feel comfortable. Uh, my mirrors on the side were really tight uh, and the door to get in and out of the RV uh, was also tight. So uh, after thinking about it, you know, I have a single car garage in my apartment. I just decided, well, I'm going to go forward on this um, and do it like I do my car. So I pulled the RV back out uh, and then just drove around the um, storage unit for a little bit and then got back head in and then that was so much easier to get the RV in uh, and I think it's going to be easier to get it in and out on a regular basis uh, again at this time there was no electric uh, door pull or anything like that so um, you can see me here uh, I have an attached rope uh, to get the door up and down and at least uh, for right now, this is the way it's gonna have to work. Well, that's it. I ended up getting my uh, rig into the storage unit. Uh, couldn't back it in. It was much easier to drive uh, in forward. Um, and so I think that that's going to be the plan moving forward, pun intended. Uh, I have spoken to the storage unit. They are going to put in a chain pull to make it so much easier for me to uh, get the garage door up and down, um, which as you can see here, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I was glad I was able to do it. 
um, and I think it'll work for right now. All in all, it was a, a long journey. Started in Florida, went to Alabama, uh, went to Tennessee, uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, uh, and Wisconsin. So uh, eight states uh, in a matter of uh, just over four days. Um, I had a failed attempt. I won't say it's a failed attempt at uh, RVing a state park here in Wisconsin. It was my first uh, attempt, uh, and if it hadn't been for the refrigerator, which needs some work, um, I probably still would have uh, been in the camp for at least a, another day or so. Again, I really enjoyed my time in my trip. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the whole process from start to finish. Uh, there are a couple of things moving forward that I'm going to have to do. Obviously, you need to fix the passenger side uh, mirror. Uh, that's going to be one of the first things. Uh, also, obviously, uh, fixing the refrigerator. Uh, and then there are a couple of things here and there that I want to just touch up and, and get right again. I love RVing. You've seen me with the good, the bad, and uh, the ugly. Uh, I share it all with you because I want you to get a real sense of what it's like to be out here RVing. So that's going to do it right now. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on my blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV. Do it up. Uh, enjoy this uh, great country. There are a lot of places. Oh, and if you get to camper van or even go to a different country, enjoy that country as well. Um, there are a lot of great places to get out there and enjoy. And for me, it's just a passion that I have, and I hope you guys see it uh, and can share in it with me. Until next time, we'll see you later.